Well, Saturday night, hockey night in Canada, and a little extra emotion attached to this one here, everybody. Hi, and welcome to Flames TV Live, brought to you by Budweiser. We get you set tonight for the Seattle Kraken and the Calgary Flames. A first trip into Calgary for Seattle, and of course, the return of the Flames' former captain, Mark Giordano. 949 career games in the Flaming Sea and uh, parts of 15 seasons tonight. Back for the first time in the visitors' dressing room. More on Mark Giordano in a minute, but let's get you set on the matchup here tonight. Of course, Gio and the Kraken making their first trip into Calgary at meeting number two of four of these new division rivals in the Pacific Division. Of course, Seattle sitting right now last place in the Pacific while the Calgary Flames are at the top of the Pacific Division. But uh, you know that there'll be some jump coming uh, from the visitors uh, tonight with a lot riding on the line. As for the Calgary Flames, eight straight wins, 9-1-0 and in their last 10 games and eight consecutive on home ice as well. They've outscored their opponents 41-10 to during this eight-game home win winning streak and uh, Calgary Flames looking to continue that role here tonight against Seattle knowing that uh, there will be a little extra mixed in. Yeah he meant a lot uh, for everyone here uh, such a great person and player um, it's a lot of fun playing with Gio um, yeah he, he can't ask for a better captain so um, uh, you know I'm excited to play against him tonight but um, you know uh, same time, you know, wish what has been still in teammates is um, such a great guy, and like I said, um, had a lot of good memories, and um, yeah, he was such a good leader for us. You know, I've said before, you know, Mark was kind of the first defenseman that I was really able to, to look up to and learn from. Who's a veteran defenseman who's had a great career, and um, you know, just his work ethic on and off the ice. I mean, he's the example for every young defenseman coming into the league, and obviously for you know, some of our young defensemen here, you know, me, Shilly, Razzy, you know, he was a great role model for us on and off the ice of how you have to act and how you have to be as a player if you want to um, have an impact in this league. So I was fortunate to be able to be on the ice with him for a couple of years. And like, uh, like back said, I think most guys miss him, obviously have him around. He's a great person. He's a great captain. You know, the biggest thing with Gio is his connection with the city and the fans, right? That's the biggest thing. So it's good that he finally gets it in, in a regular season game. All right, let's take a look now at who to watch. And, of course, we'll start with the man that wears the C for the Seattle Kraken, the first captain in their franchise history and his first trip back into Calgary. Leads the Kraken in scoring uh, as far as defensemen are concerned with 21 points and right there uh, near the top as well in uh, total minutes on the ice. Log in for the Calgary Flames. Johnny Gaudreau is, of course, he is on a bit of a roll right now. 20th goal of the season against Anaheim Wednesday, but it was the two assists that moved him past his former captain, Mark Giordano, for the fifth most career assists in franchise history, sitting at 367. By the way, Johnny Gaudreau also now tied for fourth, or sitting actually fourth in NHL league scoring. Uh, more on Mark Giordano, though, as he kind of reflects on the opportunity to come back into Calgary. You know, it's always going to feel a bit weird coming in on the other side after being here for so long. But uh, was happy to get a couple games. I got the preseason one and I got the one in Seattle all the way playing the the, the team. And uh, you know, again tonight, uh, it'll be it'll be pretty special for me to play in front of uh, the fans here again. Uh, you know, I came in here pretty pretty young, uh, a young guy, not knowing too much about what the NHL was all about and the city, obviously. And um, I felt like, you know, I I, uh, I put in, uh, you know, every night that I play, I, I put in uh, as much as I can into the, into the game, and I think the fans here respect that and really, uh, really showed me support throughout my career. I mean, it's it's been nothing but uh, um, very supportive and, and people being great to you in the city of Calgary. So it's going to be pretty special. And not to be overshadowed tonight, uh, the now longest tenured Calgary Flame, Michael Backlund, hits a major milestone here this evening. Game number 792 of his career, but moves into fifth. Solo spot, fifth all-time in games played for the Calgary Flames. Yeah, no, I uh, I never thought of that when I was drafted by Calgary. Um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. I'm still here. Um, you know, it's uh, I'm very proud of um, you know, playing tonight, playing, becoming the number five of all time uh, means a lot. And uh, there's some good players ahead of me. So, and, you know, passing a really good player tonight as well. So um, players that are really respecting this organization and uh, done a great job for the city and the community and uh, the organization. So, um, yeah, it's an exciting uh, uh, milestone for me. Um, something I'm very proud of. And 
That player Michael mentioned is uh, Theo Fleury. Next up on the list to pass is defenseman Al McInnes. All right, we'll take a break. When we come back, a conversation with Milan Lucic on the other side. All of us at Calgary Sports and Entertainment are thrilled to welcome you back to the Scotiabank Saddledome and would like to share some important updates and reminders. Attending the game should be a fun night out, but as fans, we are all in this together when it comes to taking on the common opponent of COVID-19. So please do your part. Much like our players, everyone has their own equipment preferences. Face coverings must remain on at all times while moving around the seating bowl or concourse and may only be removed while you're actively eating or drinking in your assigned seat every team needs good defense so if you feel the urge to cough or sneeze please do so into your elbow or a tissue please also remember to wash your hands frequently with warm soapy water additionally we have added many conveniently located hand sanitizing stations throughout the Scotiabank saddle dome no one ever wants to miss a game but we ask that you please stay home if you're feeling unwell or believe that you may have been exposed to COVID-19 under some circumstances, the puck may be propelled into the spectator area with enough force to cause serious injury. If you are struck, immediately ask the nearest usher for help and directions to the medical station. Perhaps most importantly, please make sure you are kind and respectful to one another, as well as the venue staff who are working hard to ensure the best possible experience for our patrons. If you have any questions about any of these important updates and reminders, please don't hesitate to contact a venue representative or Calgary Flames customer service. You can also report any issue or ask a question by texting us your seat location along with your question and the word S-Dome to 587-327-2207 to reach our fan text line. We greatly appreciate your support and understanding. Together, we can enjoy a safe and fun return to the Sea of Red in the Scotiabank Saddle Dome. What you need to know for tonight's game, Seattle and Calgary. Johnny Gaudreau, we mentioned fourth in NHL scoring, 63. But how about his plus 39 rating, which is tops in the National Hockey League. And uh, by the way, with his 20th goal of the season on Wednesday night, the Flames are the first and only team with four or more 20 goal scorers on the year. Elias Lindholm also hit that mark recently. And then Michael Backlund, as we mentioned, 792 tonight, passing Theo Fleury for fifth all time. You know, I'm sure it'll be, you know, expecting some, some loud noises here tonight. Uh, returning your former captain, Mark Giordano, here. And I know you kind of did it once in preseason, but uh, this one, you know, a little bit different. An opportunity, obviously, for Flames fans to uh, salute him. But what about for you and uh, another chance here to play him here tonight? Yeah, it's uh, obviously it's an exciting moment, I think, for him. And I think it's exciting for, you know, the Flames fans to see yeah. uh, Mark back in the Saddle Dome. And, uh, yeah, it's exciting. You know, I, I, I've been through it and I know I know what the feeling is a little bit of the butterflies and anxiety, uh, you know, playing that first game back uh, against your old team. But yeah, I'm sure it'll be a fun night for him as far as all that goes. But at the end of the day, uh, for us, we got to do what we got to do to try to get a big win here against Seattle. Yeah, I mean, what stands out about those games when you go back? Is it the, you know, the nerves, the pregame warm-up, that sort of thing? Or is it, you know, the little tribute maybe uh, at some point during the game? Yeah, all of it. You know, it just, it kind of just, uh, it kind of all builds up. You know, like I said, it's like, you know, before you run that big race, you know, you got those, like someone's punching you in the stomach. And, yeah. you know, even I, I remember, too, going back uh, on a return, like, you, you're trying to take a nap and, and do your pregame uh, rituals, but it just feels a little different, you know, and, and you know, those are all the emotions that come with it. And, but yeah, once you, uh, once you get out there and warm up and kind of get through your first full shifts, a uh, few shifts, you know, you kind of just go back to playing hockey. All right, here's a look at your starting goaltenders for tonight's hockey game. And we'll start with the Kraken, who go back to Philip Grubauer and make his third straight start. Uh, he's now made uh, 37 on the season uh, for the Seattle Kraken. And uh, just ahead of him is Jacob Markstrom, who will make his 38th start of the year. By the way, 14 of the last 15 games. But uh, he's allowed two or less in each of his last five starts. So Markstrom goes back in for the Flames up against Grubauer. Uh, looking at the same lines here tonight and deep pairings for the Calgary Flames, and why not? Eight consecutive wins. A look to make it one more here tonight. Puck drop is on the way. A little tribute to Mark Giordano coming up as well. Enjoy the game, everyone. We'll see you in the first intermission. Saturday, it's going to be uh, obviously a big Saturday night game, emotional game, and uh, we're going to be expecting Seattle's best, so uh, we have to be ready for that, and we have to 
continue this because it's been fun on the past little stretch.